It's like a pirate version of Aaron Yeager. Okay. So, what am I? Uh, I think that's up to you, right? Uh, I chose random. Interesting. So I, I am a dread pirate. Ah, the combat specialist. Oh, this is fun. Every navy ship has the walk the plank arg. I am sailing in the name of damage anyway. exchange for three movement and plus. I guess I should do that to read off my abilities. Privateers are randomly assigned colonial powers. Patron, privateers knows the location of all of the patrons' ports. Pillaging trade routes to get an additional 100 gold. Every naval ship has to bring your home unit action. Bring your home can be used to, to can be used on badly damaged enemy ships to capture the ship. For the privateers' patron, using bring your home grants plus five infamous pirate points and 100 gold in addition to the usual new the usual navy naval victory rewards. The bring your home ability takes five turns to recharge. Which is a super broken ability, by the way, <laughs> because sure, you can nerd. use bring her home and capture in the same turn. So you can, so let's say you got two damaged ships right next to you. You can use Bringer Home to take home one of them, and then you can capture the other one. Effectively defeating two ships in one turn. What should I do? War with what a human player. Do? Andrew. Yes? Your name is now Human Player. That, that feels impersonal, man. Good. It should feel impersonal. Why is that blue? Oh, that's, uh, oh, like that's France. That's France. Buccaneers and Blackbeard's treasure map. Arg. Infamous pirates. Ooh, who are you? It's a sloop. It's a sloop. Hmm. Mm. Let's focus on treasure first. Oh, that that one has a name. That's a little. Oh, oh, oh! No, never mind, never mind. That's just a port. That's a port. It's not a boat with the name. The city mm. with the name, which is a hell of a lot less intimidating, because you see, cities can't move. Yeah, usually. but they can fight. Now, there we go. So now I've got my treasure, right? No, I don't have my treasure. How do I plunder? You bitch! What? I was going for that treasure. Well, you do have the option to fight me for it. If ye dare. Uh, how embarrassing would it be if I fight you and beat you and that's it for the entire game? <laughs> All right, well, that's it for the recording. Good 20 minutes right. in. <laughs> Andrew, get away from my dudes. No. <laughs> get back on the boat, boys. We're out of here. <laughs> I lost them. Declaration of War. Spain. That's not good. My country's at war with a lot of... Damn it, he found me! <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah! You took Son my fucking it. treasure. What is my ability? What did I get out of that? <laughs> I should have actually read that. Yeah, how embarrassing would it be if we kill each other over something that's like, oh, you get an extra hundred gold. <laughs> I think that's exactly what it is, too. Huh. I don't remember how to check that. Uh... Hmm. World tracker, units list, no. Oh, wait, I don't have any treasure. I can't check anyways. You don't need to check, Andrew. Was attacked by the dread pirate. Yeah. You son Fear of a me. bitch. <laughs> Man, I left you the sloop. Just get the sloop. <laughs> I'm going to chase you to the ends of the fucking earth. <laughs> well, this isn't Earth. This is Pirate Islands. Brought to you by yeah, Disney. Yeah. Is, is Disney sponsoring us? I hope so. That would be dope, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. <clears throat> I mean, I get 50-50, right? Uh, you get something. Do I? Uh, sure. I'll give you like $7. <laughs>
Man, that's only like five gumballs. How many gumballs would that be? That would be because they're a dollar twenty-five nowadays. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta do gumball math. <laughs> it's worse than algebra. Well, I guess I just have to press the next turn button, and it didn't work. Oof. You gotta hate that. <clears throat> well, I figured I'd just pop in here and <clears throat> capture a sloop. But then Spain just sank it. Wait, how do we actually win this? Uh, by having points. You get points. So if you look at the top right, you've got, like, different categories. There's treasure, uh -huh. infamous pirates, fighting, and gold. So you uh, get, yeah, by burying treasure, you get treasure points. You get infamous pirate points by, like, <clears throat> I mean, I, I have the option to capture boats. Um, obviously, you get points for fighting. Infamous pirate points you can get from, like, defeating, uh, uh, what are they called? Infamous pirates? Infamous pirates. <laughs> um... Oh, there's like a bunch of different ways to get those points by like sacking ports, defeating infamous pirates, taking down treasure fleets, things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what do I want to do? What do I? You know what I want to do? do? I want to turn my game audio up. Oh, I figured it was going to be you want to be sedated. No, no, no. That does sound wonderful, right? I now. made an I made an '80s re music reference in my last video. I can't do it again. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure the Ramones were '70s. I don't know who that is. Ah. Okay. Okay. Now, now is not the time. <laughs> it's always the time, Andrew. The time is now. There's no time like the present. Oh shit. Why are we playing this and not Sins of a Solar Empire? Oh my god, I have that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you have. Well, okay, I guess I bought it on CD and I don't have a CD drive, so it doesn't really matter. I did some weird backdoor thing for that and it worked really well, but I don't remember what it was now. Ugh. So, you're admitting to crime? No, it's not crime because I actually- because I used the CD for it, which was something we paid money for. I paid money for That we, as a family, paid money for. <laughs> that I personally paid that money for. That we, as brothers, paid money for. Am I at war with Spain or do I sail for Spain? Those are two very, very different things. <laughs> I don't remember who I sail for. Oh, that, I found the button. Good. In the top left area, there's a button for relics. I don't see that button. In the top left corner, it's a little skull and crossbones. Nope. Oh, that sucks for you, man. Well, maybe if someone didn't steal my damn relic. <laughs> it is. So it is. I get like an extra 50 gold from trade routes. And that's it. Yeah, that wouldn't have done me any good. But. But that's not the point. <laughs> exactly. It's the principle of the thing. Okay. Oh, you need crew to capture other ships, don't yes. you? Yes. Ah. Uh... And yeah, you the... start with one crew, and you get crew by visiting taverns. Okay, that's I'm glad right. we're both off to a bad start here. Cause <laughs> so when I played with Tyler, it was his first time playing, and he... I won, but it was, like, way closer than it should have been. <laughs> like, unreasonably huh. closer. <laughs> Like, you almost lost. Like, I almost lost the Tyler. To someone who didn't know what he was doing. Right. Bro, I thought you were supposed to be good at this. <laughs> well, okay, so playing regular Civilization, yes. Playing these different game modes, maybe not as much. I think that's just like, uh, what, what do the kids say these days? Copium? I don't know. Tubular? Gnarly, dude. It's totally tubular. Copaesthetic. That's the word you were looking for. Uh, 
it's it's copathetic. No, There's no, no, no. Copasthetic. I'm gonna put a real emphasis on that one. Copasthetic. God damn, Angie, you got one ship. Why does it take you so long to take your turns? <laughs> because I, I clicked the finish turn button, and I thought, you know, that would clearly mean my turn is over, but <laughs> then I have to press it a second time because Obviously not. I don't know why. Uh, you're not <sighs> Let's see. Port de pa. What Port would de pay? Captain Jack Sparrow do in this situation? Uh, I think he would just kind of get drunk, make a few cutting remarks, and then the movie would do the rest of the work for him. Uh, that's right, I forgot. <laughs> remember, he's a terrible pirate. But you I mean, have he didn't heard steal of him. jack shit. Oh, I walked into that one. <laughs> you're the... No, you said you're a Dread Pirate. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And it's my turn again for some reason. Uh, yeah, it's weird how that works. I know, right? For just... some weird reason. <laughs> well, because I pressed end my turn button, and so I thought clearly my turn is over, and then it's like, oh, now I have options because my turn is over? Really throwing you through a loop on that. You know? Man, I'm not a gamer. <laughs> I don't play that way. Ugh, come on. Oh, they're attacking me. But Spain and France have made peace, so that's nice. That's all you can ever ask for. I mean, I, I think go. we could ask for Boosh. something a bit better. Boosh. Uh, maybe you could, but I'm over here killing it. I'm in second place, brother. And sure, maybe an NPC's in first place, but... <laughs> oh, okay, because okay, okay, I was point. going to say, because... <laughs> there's, there's only two of us, and I'm pretty sure I'm not in first place. I am impressed. Usually by turn 20, both NPCs are off the board. <laughs> huh. <laughs> yeah, this is not a, uh, this is not a computer player friendly game. <laughs> and it is funny, because when you play, like, the regular game mode, um... I don't know what difficulty you play on. I usually play on Emperor. Sure, sure. Um, I, I usually don't play this game. Uh, well, that's kind of your problem, you know? I mean, it's only a problem if it, like, you think of it that way. I like to think of it as a liberation. I like to think of it as a solution. Exactly. <laughs> to the problem of what happens if you give Gandhi nukes. <laughs> the answer to the problem of what am I going to do for the next 12 hours <laughs> 12 hours it's pussy shit so when I during COVID um, I, I, I'm pretty sure we even talked about this I was off so I would stay and Gregor was working night shift so I would stay up playing Civ 6 with Greg I would play Civ 6 like all day and then <clears throat> Amelia would get home at like 8.30, so I'd have dinner cooked and ready and everything. And then mm -hmm. she'd eat and go to bed, and I'd lock myself in the study there. And I would spend like the next eight hours playing Civ with uh, Gregor on nights. <laughs> so I would put in like a good almost 20 hours a day. Just sitting there clicking the next turn button. <laughs> well, to be fair... You need to press it like five times for your turn to end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever your excuse is. Mm. There's a lot of people around me. I hope they're not looking for vengeance. <laughs> ah, they're really slopping up my sloop over here. Oh, perfect. Oop, oop, oop. Is that what I wanted? That's what I wanted. 
God damn. A lot of action going on over here. <laughs> huh. Yeah. There's a... Uh, I think it's peaceful over here. Unless it's very suddenly doesn't become peaceful. I'm trying to get my second brigantine here, because when you get the second one, that's when you really rule the seas. Having those ranged units in this game mode is just... Oh. You know? Wait, your your boat isn't automatically ranged? So, yes, the first ship is, um, and then I've got a brigantine and a sloop. Ah, okay. Yeah, and those are both melee classes. I don't think brigantines are... or galleons. Galleons, sorry. Um, I don't think... Those are horses, right? What? Horses. Horses? Why are you bringing horses on your boat? Uh, you know how I do, man. Uh, you know how sure. it is. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I just, I gotta visit the port. <laughs> Please just listen, let me visit the port. <laughs> there we go. Okay. don't want to, but I should. <clears throat> don't do it. I did it already. It's been done. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> Maybe for you. And then... Oh, yeah. I, I just do a little... Put her to work, boys! Put your back into it! That's my pirate accent, Andrew. That sounds literally nothing like a pirate. <laughs> like, like, I'm pretty those... sure... <laughs> Go ahead. The guy at the gas station sounds more like a pirate than that. That's racist, Andrew. Shame on you. It's true. <laughs> Waiting for hey. Andrew once again. Hey, I found rum. Ooh. Which is apparently a relic. Oh, treasure. Oh, this might be bad. What's that? So, like, I just captured my a new ship, right? It's okay. great. It's a galleon. And it's not even a horse. Hmm. And, uh... Now I'm surrounded by, uh, buccaneers. <laughs> I played this once. With a very once. badly beaten down... With a very badly beaten up galleon. <laughs> I, so I played this once, and man, I was just getting mucked up the whole time. It was like, oh. I'd capture one ship, and then 12 ships would surround it. It's like, well, come uh, on, uh, man. <laughs> uh, the French just showed up and sank my brand new galleon. Uh. Which kind of makes sense, because, well, it, it was one of their galleons. <laughs> Which, to be fair, was theirs. Let's see. Send you up that way, and you up that way. We're shipping her up to Boston, boys. I thought we were in Pirate Town. Uh, Pirate Island. Ah, is there a difference? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I know it's oh, specifically God. not the Caribbean. Why are there so many Buccaneers around here? <laughs> it's are you all close? just buc it's Buccaneers and Frenchmen. <laughs> my worst nightmare, but also my greatest fantasy. I mean, it's going to be a good time if I make it out of this alive, but, uh, everybody around me wants me dead. Hey, man, it'd be like that sometimes. But what did I do? I just, you know, raided the French's trade routes and, you know, stole one of their ships and, like... <laughs> Oh god, oh god, I'm literally surrounded. Oof. Um, I, I think this is going to be a short game. <laughs> For you. One attack, that's two attack. Oh, Andrew. Three attack. <laughs> Oof. Well, I see ya. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I, I just want the treasure. 
see it. But, uh... Oh, I, I think I'm going to have to step up and live up to my reputation as a dread pirate. And murder literally Ooh. everybody. I got a relic. Bullshit! <laughs> I don't even know how I got that one. <laughs> Fucking now, nah, like, no. What's there to know? I'm Deep. just vastly superior at this game, Andrew. It happens. Oh, God. <laughs> is, is it going to be like this the entire time? You've let your early success go to your head. <sighs> Look, Andrew. <I laughs> you, you sailed into the wrong waters, friend. I don't know what to tell you here. It's not yeah. where you want to be in life. No. 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 Alright, so I I sail for England, as it turns ah. out. Yes. Alright, which one of these should I kill? <laughs> Cause I'm only getting one. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take down every single one of these fuckers. Well, I would have started with the weaker ones, not the uh not the army. Or armada. <clears throat> oh, right. I can do this. <laughs> Run away. Yep. <laughs> Sneak out the back door. Yeah. Run I would to the waiting arms of the front. <laughs> I would uh, highly recommend sailing either south or west. Well, I mean, sailing north is also an option. No, there's more Dread Pirates up there. <laughs> also, like, the edge of the map is, like, r literally right there. Yeah, you'll get cornered. Like a rat in a cage. Uh, that's another 70s reference. It. What do you mean you don't oh, get it? Oh, that one hurts. <laughs> that one hurts. Which one oh. hurts? It's my turn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I moved, and so I thought, okay, my turn is over. Oh, um, careening. I don't know if you know. If you just stay in one tile, you can use careening and get all your health back. Yeah, but you see, the problem there is, uh... You can also move halfway away and still use careening and get most of your health back. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. interesting. Wait a second, is that your boat with, like, almost no health? Uh, yes it is. <sighs> Think carefully on this, Andrew. I can let- I can let you skirt by. Oh, never mind. Never mind, never mind, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, in theory... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Punch a couple holes in her. Punch a couple more holes in her. Sail right there. That'll be good there. And then you... I gotta give her a few more tippy taps. You know, make her feel loved. Make it, yeah, give her the old tippy tap, you know. Bring her home. Capture boat. And there we go. Oh... Now I just gotta pray that I don't get sacked by those two, uh, pirate ships up there. Mm. Good yeah. luck. Okay, England is sailing right in the way, so I should be good. <laughs> Finally, the English are good for something. More than beans on bread, you know? It's toast. Mm. They're very particular about that. My sloop! Oh, you French motherfuckers! <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, they sunk my sloop. Well, they've, uh, I, I'm in a French sandwich. I'm in a hamon bear. <laughs> I think I'm the bear, though. I think I'm the burr. Okay. So you are just gonna careen. And you are gonna sail up here. Visit the tavern. You're gonna fire on them. <clears throat> well, oh, I'm getting uh, a sloop. 
I may be in fourth place, but I've almost beat, but I'm like on par with the NPC, and then there's you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm doing all right here. I don't think I'm going to win. It's still pretty early. Honestly, this game doesn't really start going until about turn 30, and we haven't even hit 100 points yet. I usually finish about six to 800 points. All right, so that thing about the careening heals you, healing you up fully? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's bullshit. What do you mean? I mean, I careened and I did not heal fully. Uh, I don't want to be here anymore, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's horrible, isn't it? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> The southern waters are sounding pretty good right now. I'll, uh, I'll get my revenge on the French soon enough. Oh, that's why they're so aggressive, because they're a treasure escort. Yeah. Like, shit, man, I didn't even want to steal your treasure. I just wanted to, you know, <laughs> like, kill everyone. A little different. Alright, I got one. All right, let's get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> I'm good on all this. Five fucking ships. Ugh. Time to skip town? Yeah, baby. You know how it is. Time to walk the plank, you know? You know what? Yeah. You know, Andrew, like pirates say? Walk the plank? I mean, that's my ability, not yours, so, like... I feel like you're appropriating the Dread Pirate culture at the moment. Well, that was not my intentions. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Who's this? And will you try to kill me at, on sight? Oh, hey, you have burning boats out in your harbor. That's probably not a good thing. That's probably not good. <laughs> I don't want to be here. <laughs> well, it beats the, the Buccaneers and the French, so... <clears throat> Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> this isn't going well for Big Man Ace. <laughs> We're just gonna head out. <laughs> we'll go find some nice, uh, nice Frenchmen down south, you know? Maybe, maybe. We'll, we'll get out of here. We'll get out of their hair. Let them have their own thing, you know? Can I... Not attack them? I think that's a personal choice. I'm not sure. Violence is never the answer, Andrew. But it is but the best solution. Let's visit the tavern. Hey! I found an accordion. How many boats do you have? One. <laughs> Seems like you're taking an awful amount of turns here. <laughs> I don't know, what's the ratio here? Two to one? Cause goddamn. <laughs> Shit, man. I don't know either. But now I have an accordion. Well, what more could you ask for? Help, they're trying to sink my boat. They sunk my battleship. Well, not yet, thank god. Did you ever see that movie? No. No? I was always curious about it, cause they made it look so good in the previews. Good is a strong word. They made they made it look good in the previews. They made it look like it might not be a flaming pile of shit. They made it look good, Andrew. Oh, oh no, I chose the wrong direction to sail in. Oh no, I went north again. <laughs> well, no, but now now I'm sandwiched between the Spanish who hate me and three buccaneer gals. Mm. That's not where you want to be. No, I, I really appreciate, like, if I had a chance to, you know, fix my boat and, like, maybe get a second boat. Ah, who needs it? <laughs> I, you know what, Andrew? As a man who's had four boats, <laughs> let me tell you, not worth it. You just need the one. <laughs>